This video is for Janet, who asked a really good question about how to get her Creative Commons license on the bottom of her post. Here's my post, let's get a license. So I'm going to head to Creative Commons and obviously choose a license, which will bring up this web page here. So here obviously I can choose what kind of license I want, modification, commercial use, whether it's an Australian jurisdiction I'm after or a worldwide one, etc. So you know how to fill all that stuff in. Just follow the prompts. Then of course you need to put the title of your work in. So I'm just going to copy and paste that from my post. Make it nice and easy. You put your name in because it's you who's written it give it the URL. Now in WordPress you can click on get short link and that will give you one URL or you can wait until you've published it once and get the URL that way. If you want people to be able to contact you to ask for more permissions then put the blog address in and hope that you've sorted out an about page on there so they can contact you if they want to via Twitter or something like that. Alright, so just filling this up. We want a HTML reference. So here's the code. We can choose what icon we want. But basically we need to copy that. And I think that's where Janet's got up to. She's got her license. But what keeps happening is she keeps pasting it in and all she sees is gobbledygook code rather than a pretty license. And I think this is what she's doing. In visual mode, she's pasting it in. And you can see we're on visual mode because the visual tab is selected. So let's have a look at what that looks like. And I think that this is what she's seeing. Can you see on the post there? It looks like gobbledygook. Well, actually, it's HTML. And that's because you've posted it into visual mode. Can you see the HTML tab? If you click on that, you'll now look at the code. And this is where you paste new bits of code, like embed tags from YouTube or anywhere else. And when you go back into visual, WordPress will convert that, read the code, and make it look pretty for you. So I think that's all you need to do. But just to show you, let's preview that. Let's refresh. There you go. That's how it works. So just make sure that you're on the HTML tab whenever you paste any embed code from any site, that includes YouTube, and you won't have a problem.